this is Susan Phelan, and I have L.E. Modisett Jr. with me today. Thank you. Thank you for taking some time out to, to talk with us today. I know you're really busy, Lee. Well, thank you, and I'm really glad to be here. Okay. Well, you have an interesting life story, and I am guessing with a life spent in politics and economics, that's got to bleed into your books. Yes. Uh, there's probably a political sub-dimension to okay. almost everything I've written, partly because I know it and partly because one of the things I discovered in writing was not many writers concentrate on, should we say, economics. I mean, one of my books, um, there's a scene in it where a young ruler is worrying about how he is going to afford to raise taxes and what the impact on his people is going to be. Mm. And that's a very real political concern. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, in over 20 years, or over 40 years of writing and reading, I have never seen anybody take that side of it. In fantasy, everybody always talks about how it hurts the poor people, but uh -huh. nobody ever looks, about, looks at the other side. Mm -hmm. And I've often used economics and politics to do that sort of thing. Interesting. This is your newest book, is that right? Right. Imager's Battalion, it is the fifth Sixth book in the Imager portfolio, which the is Imager portfolio. The Imager portfolio, and that is my fourth fantasy series. Most readers want to know where do you get your ideas. I guess the, the answer to that one is from life. Um, I wrote the, the spell song cycle based on the idea of a professional singer who was transported to a world where vocal music controlled magic. Obviously, this came from what I learned from my wife. Um, in my science fiction, I've often concentrated on pilots because I was a pilot, and I can identify with that. Okay. The political subtext of a lot of my novels, that comes from my background in, in national politics. Uh -huh. um, Every story is really just a question of what if. In the case of the spell song cycle, what if a singer goes to a world where magic, a trained singer goes to a world where magic does exist through vocal music? For various reasons, there wouldn't be very many trained singers in that world. Mm -hmm. And so that has certain ramifications. In the case of the recluse books, I basically ask the question, what if the forces of order and chaos were analogous to our structure in our universe of ordered matter and entropy? Thank you so much, Lee. I, when did this come out? Um, the release date was January 22nd. Okay, and the January sequel, 22nd of 2013. Right, and the sequel, Antigone Fire, will be out May 28th of this year. Folks. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank really you. really appreciate you talking to us today. This is Susan Phelan talking to L.E. Modisett, Jr. Thanks for watching Utah Book Scene.